Welcome everyone. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen, and most importantly, welcome to my heart. This is Fast Where the Flavor's At. Our group is getting bigger with every show that we do. I can't tell you how excited and even a little nervous because I'm, I'm cooking for people I've never cooked for before, but we're going to have fun nonetheless. Today we're going to do a dish that I was hoping we'd be able to film before the holiday started because it's a dish that I feature almost every year on Christmas Eve and it's part of the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Uh, but because of some things that got in the way, here we are in January of the brand new year. We're going to make it for you today. Uh, the ingredients that go into our dish are uh, some chopped fennel, some minced shallot, some sliced garlic, some dried oregano. I've got clams, I've got mussels, I've got shrimp, I've got a little snapper. You can do any type of fish you like, halibut, snapper, sword, whatever you prefer. I just, I just decided to choose uh, snapper because it looked beautiful at the fish market the other day. So that said, we've got white wine. I've got some seafood stock. Uh, you could just use water. You can just use a jar or a bottle of clam juice if you want. I like to make my own stocks. Uh, typically what I do is I save all my shells from my shrimps, from my lobsters, from my crab, whatever I can, I save the shell, stick it in the freezer when it's time. I take this big pot out and I go ahead and cough the shells with some brandy and some white wine and some bay leaf and some celery and just create a beautiful, flavorful stock. Any sauce, any soup, anything like that needs a good, flavorful stock to really pay off. Um, and then I have my San Marzano tomatoes. So we'll start right away by dropping in the fennel. Oh, I love that sound. I love that sound. We're gonna just slowly cook off the shallots and the fennel. Take it out my little wooden spoon. I just want to sweat that. You know, when it comes to chipino or any type of seafood dish, you know, a shrimp's going to taste like a shrimp, a clam's going to taste like a clam. What makes a good chipino or seafood stew special is what it's swimming in, what kind of sauce or, or, or soup that you're going to make for it. Um, this is where you're going to really kind of get the flavors to come together and work for you and just be a wonderful complement to the fresh seafood that goes in the dish. I'm going to turn you down just a little bit. All right. What do I want to put in next? I'm going to add some garlic. Baboon. I'm going to throw in the dried oregano. A baboon. I'm going to spin that around. You're starting to get the aromas. The smells are coming through. The garlic, the oregano, the fennel, the shallot. You sit right there for a moment. All right. What do we want to put in next? What do you guys want to put in next? Let's do a little white wine. Oh, yeah. Let's splash pata. That says a cup, but you know me. I don't really measure. And, like a, that's like a sea world Right. <laughs> so we'll use that to kind of get all the flavors worked up off the bottom of the pan. And we'll get that started. So let's build our base. I'm going to bring in the stock. <sighs> Another thing I like to add to my chupino, just again, some other additional depths of flavor is, uh, well, bay leaf, which is pretty traditional. But I like a little orange rind. I like to just throw in there. That'll come out before the dish is served, but I want to just put that in there and part another little, again, flavor dimension to the dish. So we're just going to let those things work down nice, let the wine reduce. All right, from here, I'm going to crank this up just a little bit. Let that work down. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to need my... Uh, my wife doesn't like smoke getting up in her, uh... it's all right? All right, I can bring it out. All right, we're going to add our, our seafood, our shellfish stock. We're going to add our San Marzano tomatoes. It smells like Christmas in <laughs> Flares that smell good? Right, listen, I want you to be part of this show, so I expect you to 
<laughs> Add a little uh, something special to it. I need all the help I can get. All right, so we'll Cheryl just sort of spread that in there for us. Uh-huh. We're gonna let that cook down a little bit. Forgive my back. All right, once we get this to start to really start boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the clams and the mussels, get those to open up. From there, I'll put in the shrimp and the fish. We're gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes when we get to that port, and then, uh, and then we'll come back. But stay with me for now, don't, don't go away. We're not ready to go away yet, because this will start heating up very quickly. All right, All right let's go ahead and lay in the, the clams and the mussels. These babies have been scrubbed nicely, bearded the clams, or the mussels rather. I'll get those all in there. <laughs> They are, they're all swimming. Look at them. All right, we'll stir that up nice. And we're gonna put a lid on it. And we'll come back in about five minutes. Wow. All right, we're back. We've simmered uh, the, the wonderful flavors going on here with the mussels and the clams. We're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp. Look get my hands. I swear I washed them. I think it's better than dumping the whole tray in with uh, the water it's been swimming in. So you like to space them out a little bit in the pot? Yeah, yeah, I like to move, move everything around a little bit. Give them a little room to breathe. Get rid of that. And our fresh snapper. All right. And again, we'll just toss that around. So all the fragrant aromas coming out from all the different things that are in the pot. Most importantly, the fresh seafood. Make sure we get all the shrimp underneath, the fish. All right. So what we'll do now is we'll let this simmer for another 10 minutes. All right, so let this simmer. We'll come back in a few minutes. All right, our seafood's all cooked through. Uh, we're just gonna go with a little seasoning here at the finish. A little fresh sea salt. Powerful, so you don't want to go too much. A little crushed red pepper. Need a little heat. A little fresh chopped parsley that we've dried here in the house, which you can just kind of liberally throw on. Give it another mix. Let's get all that stuff together. Oops, I see another bay leaf. I got you. Ha ha. All right, and we're ready to plate up. Darling, yeah. I'll need you to do the garnish at the end, if you'd be so kind. I know your camera's shy, but everybody who watches these shows are like, where's Deline? I want more Deline. Yeah. Guess what, I want more Deline. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only ones. <laughs> All right, garnish and uh, with uh, and uh, don't forget a toast point and a little prawn, right there. Thank you. So yeah, you're working. <laughs> this is a two-person operation. I need help. Yes, start serving as you fix each one. All right. So, Chopino. Happy holidays once again. You know, we can never stop saying I, I don't. I'll stay happy New Year, happy holidays. We're in an Italian house, every night is a holiday. Exactly. And it is. It is. And every time we can get together with family and friends, it's a holiday. So God bless. God bless. To all of you, Salud. thank you again for being here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Blessings happy New Year. to you all. Kevin, you ready? Everybody, what's the name of this show? Fast Where the flavor is at. See you next time. Ciao, I'll be the Rivedeci and uh, salute. <laughs>